All right, I mean, this is exactly, exactly what I wanted to showcase. This is the deck working at maximum velocity uh, and my opponent dying. We went through 32 cards to find my Time Vault. And, I mean, beautiful. All right, here we go again, Vintage Gamers, back one more time. I really want to make a good video where we get to do lots of fun smelting bath things. If you've seen the challenge video introducing this deck, you'll know it went really, really poorly. Last place, one in five. However, in leagues, this deck has tested very, very well for me. At one point, I was 20 and four uh, and kind of just crushing everybody. So... I'd like to make it another attempt at trying to make this video, you know, exciting, uh, a display of power for the deck. There have been a lot of changes in the deck. Obviously, it's a new archetype trying to figure out where we want to be. Uh, we're up to all the full four might stone. It's really the best thing you can sacrifice, and it. it's never bad. It's always doing things, drawing cards, killing creatures, and sacking into multiple pieces. Um... What else did I want to say? Uh, we, we're, we're changing some things. I'm trying to play like a Needle and a Soul Guide, so you have some various hits that you can go find against different matchups. Um, we're putting the Trinosphere back in the main. Uh, I, I feel like you actually have the ability to play through it really, really well with this deck, so um, definitely want to put that one back in the main. And, and then we have a you know a variety of things we're testing in the sideboard. I'm trying out a Dark Seal Citadel as a tutor target. I've been wanting to be able to get additional mana. Uh, so that's what we're going to try to do with that. I've also upped for, to all four manifold keys and a Voltaic key in the main, and then another Voltaic key in the board. Uh, Discover and did play this list, and they had cut Foundry Inspector for Serum Powder. Serum Powder is a card I've played in this list in some certain versions. I'm not ready to say that Inspector is not good. This deck needs speed, and Inspector helps um, really deploy your things extremely fast fast and also is an infinite combo with mystic forge and r4 top so i haven't i haven't said no to uh, inspector yet but you could maybe cut it for serum powder as serum powder is something you can technically uh find off of smelting vat and, and makes mana and lets us uh do the mulliganing better uh i've also played like basalt monolith in this slot um, but right now the, our main thing is these, these five might stone weak stones, which are going to let us, uh, sack into, you know, additional smelting vats or hit mystic forge or, uh, I mean, this, this card is just, uh, actually holding, uh, everything together right now. So, um, if you haven't seen, if I, I guess if you haven't seen the first video, maybe check that video out. Um, but what the deck is, is a turbo vault key deck. Yeah. Uh, you, you are trying to use smelting vat. Uh, to dig really deep and, and find um, your Volt Key combo. Because you have so many pieces of key, it's really easy to activate mul Smelting Vat multiple times in a turn. Uh, one time I activated Smelting Vat five times in one turn, digging, uh, what, 40 cards deep to find my Time Vault and kill my opponent. So uh, it's a really fun deck, it's a really interesting deck. It's a little bit on the fragile side, um, but it's doing something cool and unusual, and I really enjoy it. So hopefully this video will go much better than that challenge. If you'd like to see your deck played on this channel, check out the Patreon link in the description below where you can find all the information you need to submit a donation deck list. Let's battle. All right, let's try this. I'm focused in, gotta make good decisions. Smelt some vats. No payoff. This one has payoff, a little low on mana, but we do have monolith key. Keep and bottom a stone. Looking at uh, Might Stone this turn. That way we don't get... don't We're not too far down on mana. This just draws two cards, makes a bunch of mana, another key. This key can actually untap our Monolith for now. And then... I think I like the idea of playing an Inspector. So, I mean, that's a hell of a first turn. We just put you know seven permanents in play so it is bizarre the good news is i do have a needle and a soul guide in this version so i can find both of them off of even just one activation 
It is dredge. It is lion's eye diamond dredge. That's interesting. Didn't activate. We'll have to see. All right, defense grid is nice, actually, because defense grid will mean I don't uh, have to worry about counters. Cool. All right, so let's go. Let's just do it all off of... Hmm. We're going to want... Trying to figure out how many keys I want to use on mana. Because I can play this VAT. I'm going to play this VAT. I only get one VAT activation if I don't use a key for mana. So let's at least use a key for mana. And then I will VAT away the Might Stone. That's going to give me the most things. I got Vault Key. Well. That's a game. I guess I don't even need the key. Good defense grid, I guess. Wow. I mean, this deck is so nuts. Turn two kill with force protection from defense grid. I mean, this is this is this is what we're gonna do. And even if I miss there, I can do things like uh I can get Grim Monolith and Key and then untap my VAT and go again. Um, there's just like uh, I think in this turn I should be, you know, on average like maybe three VAT activations. So all right, we got game one versus Dredge. Very nice. So let's move to game two, where we're going to bring in Worm Coil Engines, Lodestone, Snaring Bridge, Stone Brain, not on the draw, unfortunately. Uh, Sorcerer's Spyglass. Stone Brain can hit Bizarre Baghdad, which is why I say it. Probably bring it in on the play, because we are a quick, fast mana deck. All of this graveyard hate. It's a lot of cards. Um, I don't know how we're going to board for this. I think I'd like to take out Karn. I don't think I want this bridge, actually. Should take out Inspector. Uh, I like Defense Grid, unless they're on Griefs. It's probably just not a Mightstone matchup. Like, we don't need to hit Vats. So we want to hit, like, one and two drops, right? We're also bringing in some six and four drops that we can sacrifice. We can probably get away with that. Um, probably can get away with, I just don't think we need a Trinisphere. We have defense grids already. Maybe it's fine. I think we're just going to like try to go a little lower to the ground. I don't know if that's right. I haven't really mapped it out, but as long as all those cards are coming in, I'll feel pretty good about it. Obviously, if they are on Vigors, it makes for harder time interacting uh with our artifact based stuff but all right this one has multiple pieces i like it and then a backup plan for when they inevitably hollow on us and we also get to figure out what's going on in their hand too there's a hollow one do they have a grief no grief saga uh, I do think we would rather play Saga than Workshop, but it does expose us to Mindbreak Trap. I think I am just going to play Spyglass. I think this is the safest line. Okay, they have a Vigor. So I can turn off Bazaar. And then I can hit their Icarid. I could choose to just hit their hand as well, or hit their yard as well. Uh, if they draw a green card, they can kill this. Try to figure out if it's better to let them dredge or not. Well, if they're dredging, they're not hitting a green card, so I think it's fine to just wait on this lantern. See what they choose to do. They did not dredge, which makes sense. They're going to look for a green card while they get a hollow one going. We're just going to resolve this worm coil engine. Hope they don't hit a green card. 
Opal. Cool. Okay. We also can attack and untap our uh, worm coil with manifold key. So we have vigilance here. Uh -huh. And then we're going to have constructs coming as well. So unless they hit a green card, this game is pretty wrapped. Even if they do, we have a saga coming off for like a needle. Probably get a top. All right, they're off it. Easy, easy dubs. All right, cool. We're on round two. Let's see what we can do. Uh, this is a nice example of a hand where I would love to be able to powder instead of inspector. So I'm just going to put it away. We don't have action. Wow. Okay. That's a nice hand. Keep. Um, probably interested in putting away emerald. And going Mana Crypt, Defense Grid, Trinisphere. Obviously, it lets us play less spells with Trinisphere out. But next turn, we can do something like play Vat and Smelt Vat for a... a yeah, I think, I think I can get rid of this Emerald, and I'll be okay. And definitely going to sequence in this order so that... Um, opponent is more likely to counter Defense Grid than Trinisphere. All right, that resolved. So this has to resolve now and see if opponent plays magic here. I mean, if they're a workshop deck, then obviously they can play through it. If they're not, then they're off for a couple turns. If they're dredged, maybe they don't care. Okay, they are a workshop deck, which means we can safely uh, kill our, va or our defense grid, which is really nice. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. I hit a pearl. Uh, yeah, let's just do that. I could always sack this Trinisphere, uh, and that way I can play spells as well. I think for now, I'm just gonna sack the defense grid. Uh, but I might track a Trinisphere on a turn where I feel like it's good. Uh, this is a nice one because we can actually get a Grim Monolith and a, a Lotus. I think that's better than getting a top. Uh, this is going to give us another two active, uh, another two search with our VAT, and we also have a key already in uh, in our hand. I think I'm interested in. I'm not, I'm not interested in playing anything more this turn. I think uh, it's likely that I want to just let this Trinisphere hit them for one turn, and then I'll probably unlock myself next turn and try to go for some kind of win. We are going to be looking for a time vault. We already know, you know, seven, uh, six cards on the bottom of our deck that are not time vault. So, though, if our opponent is on like a prison shop stack with a null rod, we, we're going to get wrecked, right? There are some, you know, risks involved in passing here without doing anything more. Okay, besiege you. So maybe a fast bond combo deck. Uh, that's the only deck I can think of that could have ancient tomb and besiege you in it. Uh, besiege you could answer sphere. Interested that they are not going to do so. Uh, let's see what they choose to play here with a three. So that's a mana crypt. Okay, so we, we you know we, we we made them spend three mana for a mana crypt. Uh, I am we we want. I don't know if we want to be worried about a vigor. If we think we're going to be worried about a vigor, then I don't want to sack three ball because I don't want to get vigored this turn. I think what I want to do is I'm going to start by just vatting uh, our two drop here and um, well, I can afford to pay three mana for a mana vault. Yeah, I'm going to just vat our thing and see if we can find a time vault to start. I did hit key monolith top. Hmm. This is unfortunate because if I had like played an inspector and sacked the inspector, I could have gotten monolith and key. I think I want to just get double key and just keep going as hard and fast as I can here. Um, I will untap this vat. I think I'm going to play an inspector and sack the inspector. 
looking for a time vault. Still missed on time vault, but we did get a defense grid. Defense grid does uh, is gonna. I'm gonna go for the uh, defense grid ruby here. Oh wait, this is a three drop. Uh, I'm gonna go for defense grid plus mana, or am I gonna go defense grid? And look? We've got to be very close to our time vault now. We are. We've gone 24 cards deep, uh, and we still have at least another activation. Uh, and defense grid will let us t sack this three ball, which will give us tons of uh, power too. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for tons of mana, and then I'm going to untap this and sack the three ball and found the time vault. All right, I mean this is exactly exactly what I wanted to showcase. This is the deck working at maximum velocity. Uh, and my opponent dying. We went through 32 cards to find my time vault. And I mean, beautiful. That's so cool. Okay, so uh, I'm going to assume my opponent is on a uh, maybe a fast bond deck. I'm going to bring in a soul guide lantern and maybe a needle and a spyglass and a Tormod script. I'm not sure I want three ball on the draw here. Also, three ball has been very good uh, re-inclusion. I took it out because I had some concerns, but they seem to be mostly unwarranted. I think what I'll do is I'll take out these defense grids. I don't know like if they're going to be on vigor or not. If they're on vigor, obviously, these defense grids might want to come back in. It's really hard to know without seeing their deck. Um, but I think I want to just take those out and play more... Uh, interaction but maybe we leave maybe we leave one in that we can hit for protection uh i guess we probably want dismembers for possible collector oofs actually so maybe maybe not take out like one key so this hand has um Three mana, untap mana, saga that can get vigored. I mean, if they have vigor, this hand's quite bad, but I think this is a keep. Okay, once upon a time. Now we'll get a better idea of what's going on. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, Urza Saga, okay, interesting. This kind of feels like it's a fast bond land deck. I, maybe the one I streamed recently. Saga Soul Ring, okay. Saga Soul Ring and Key, okay. Untap Soul Ring. And Time Vault. Wow. Uh, okay. I mean, that's a really strong hand for... Uh, yeah, okay. I mean, we have to find a Needle or we lose. So we're going to go... Crip. Uh, I think we're just gonna go for so on. So we can go eight cards deep for two of needle if we go for um, manifold key for free, untapping uh, a mana crypt, and then. Oh god, no, that will actually be short on mana, because we would need 5 mana to activate Smelting Vault. Because this manifold key is mana neutral. So I think I have to just activate Soul Guide Lantern and try to find uh, one of three. And even then, it's going to be hard to win. We don't really want... I mean, I could name manifold key. That's probably fine. Yeah, I'm going to just draw with this. Inspector. Okay. Uh, we die. Yep. Time Vault Mirrors. Um, um, I'm suspecting Transphere is probably not good here. I also don't know if all my graveyard stuff is actually good here, but... Uh, I can't imagine they're on Collector Oof if they're on Time Vault Key, though. So we can take that out. Maybe we'll throw the 3 ball back in on the play. And 
Maybe we'll play a Lodestone. Uh, that's hard to say. Like, I don't know exactly. We saw Besaju. We saw Ancient Tomb. We saw Time Vault Key Saga. It's like a very odd set of magic cards. Let's try. I don't know. Let's put a Worm Coil in. I'm not really sure. Can't imagine they would play a Collector Roof, though, if that's what they're up to. Sure. Hand is a bit odd. I think I'm not playing three ball because we're just super weak to. Maybe we can. We can play three ball without playing Saga, but then we're super weak to Wasteland. We could instead just go Mightstone. I think I just like going Mightstone here. And they are F6. I still think I'm going to go Mightstone. We can still technically place three ball if something goes really well, like that. All right, I mean, this this uh, Mightstone is going to get us to a really nice spot because it does make mana. We're going to have plenty of mana, and we'll just make some constructs, see what happens. Uh, I think I am just interested in... Three drop. And then I can play another three drop. And I have a uh, saga. Let's see what they do here. And this could just be fast bond, I would assume. Oh, painter servant. Okay. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> So I guess they're I guess I mis miscalculated. They're just a green artifact based combo deck. So what I'll do is I will I mean this kind of symbolizes they might have vigor. I think I will just I think these constructs should be enough to win. So I'm just going to get a needle on grindstone even if I'm going to kill this painter servant just to like maybe I'll just needle besiege you. No. Now, I'm just going to Needle Grindstone. Even though I'm killing this Painter Servant, I think it's just better that I... Get rid of ways they can win, and then put Lethal on the table... I mean, this is a great Urza Saga draw, right? This is like top tier Urza Saga draw. All right, this Trinisphere should definitely be in the main. I've learned my lesson. Uh, the Trinisphere has just been un unbelievable. So my opponent can still have like three mana Vigor. Uh, and they can also have besiege you, uh, but I'm pretty happy here. Yeah, nice. That's a W. Okay, anti rush across the table. What kind of combo will they be playing today? We've got a nice Urza Saga protected defense grid hand. Uh, unfortunately, we can't play Urza Saga on turn one if we want defense grid protection, but. I think it's a very clear turn one defense grid for me. Uh, Anti Rush can definitely play a counter spell based deck, though they are also liable to play a defense grid based deck, in which case we'll be wasting too much time and lose. I think in the blind you have to just play the defense grid. Oh, there's a saga. It's really bad for us because uh, their saga will come off first. So this is a Merchant Scroll Ancestral. The good news is we have a bunch of stuff, but we, we really probably need to draw a Smelting Vat to get through this game. Or just draw another key. Um, we have five keys in our deck, so... We are protected and have five keys. We did draw the Smelting Vat. So I think what I'll do is I'll go uh, Inspector. It's going to save us mana in the long term. And then we will go uh, Workshop. One mana of Monolith. Matt. 
Sack Monolith. Oh. Hmm. I think we'll play Time Vault for one. And that way we'll just sack this inspector and we can get a variety of things. Yeah. This way, see, I actually won the game because of it. I took, I can take key and grid, or sorry, key and monolith to make mana. There weren't any zero producing mana sources in that eat. But uh, the way I did it, I actually got the win. Opponent probably can't concede here because I don't have um, vault key combo because I don't have any uh, untapped uh, non-workshop mana sources here. Uh, obviously, I have a saga in hand. They don't know that, though. They probably shouldn't concede. But, I mean, it's probably pretty likely, right? Okay. I mean, this deck's so sick. I just, I'm so happy that this video is going well. <laughs> you have no idea. I felt so bad when I, when, when the other challenge, when the challenge video, uh, it's, it's like, uh, it's going up right now, basically. Um, I don't know how the reaction is going to be because I, I really talked this deck up. Like, I thought I really broke the format. Uh, and then I went one in five in the challenge and was just like, oh, no, Justin. But here we are. So opponent is a Urza Saga deck that has Ancestral and Merchant Scroll. I think that means I'm going to keep in my Defense Grid and Trinisphere. I'm probably not going to board any cards. I'm probably just going to uh, resubmit. I have, you know, access to Soul Guide Needle already. Uh, I think this is just a totally acceptable keep. Replay. This is one of the riskier hands you can keep with the deck because you have um, no protection and not a lot of mana. You have a lot of payoffs, but probably going to keep it anyways. I think Forge is just worth it. If we draw Mox and we can go Might Stone first, which will help us a lot. Needle. I think I'll make a different play and I'll just needle top. Obviously, this hurts us a lot, but the opponent's going to play a slower draw. I think it's okay. I want to be able to play around um, Lavinia, so I'm going to play this Lotus. It doesn't really play around Lavinia. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter because <laughs> I'm just going to lose to Lavinia. Oh, wow. They kept a one land, maybe multiple counter spell top hand, and we named top. Pretty good. So this Urza Saga hopefully will turn into mana for us. Um... I think again I'm I'm gonna not go all in go all in or go crazy. I'm just gonna play this key uh and, and pass back. I think we'll end up getting like a mana vault off of this saga. Maybe we just get a soul ring. I have like just piles of action in my hand. If my opponent misses a land drop, they hit the land drop, do they have a Lavinia. No, they have a time vault. Okay. That's a little scary. Really was hoping to find really good amounts of mana here. I think I am going to go... So we have a lot of mana. I just don't know how many counters my opponent's going to have. I already used my Needle. So I kind of am just dead to a Volky. If they have it. Kind of want to just go for a win. I think the answer is I'm just going to get a soul ring. We'll see. I have six mana. Foundry Inspector down to three mana. If they counter it, no, that's like car kind of garbage. I think we have to lead with Might Stone. If I go Mana Vault, Inspector down to six mana, Might Stone down to two mana. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go man. I'm gonna go mana vault. I'm gonna untap this in case uh, they counter this. I also want to hit like a workshop, so I think Might Stone makes the most sense. Yeah, they are going to force Might Stone to Fishing to Fairy. So it's just a 
This is a zero drop uh, soul guide. It's just an Esper PO deck probably. I'm gonna try to draw into a workshop. Uh, and then I'm gonna go for that. Why do I wanna go for Forge? Probably Forge. I did name top though, so I don't have any crazy top outs. Okay, these are already awesome hits. Trinosphere. I don't think I want Trinosphere. Defense Grid. I think it's worth it to keep going. I bricked off here, so if my opponent has a Vault Key, they kill us. If they don't, they could still have something like uh, Hercules Recall. Yep. Tinker? Wow. If I had played Tr Trinosphere, we would have won this game, probably. Maybe I should just play Trinosphere. I didn't really think about Mana Crypt Tinker. I mean, they probably had Tinker this whole game. But they probably held Mana Crypt. Every time I don't 3-ball, I immediately get punished. Wow. I, I think we should have won this game if I just played better, right? I play. A, I mean, we knew they had two lands. We knew they didn't have a third land. Why did I just not play 3-ball? I'm gonna change this soul guide into I mean it's really rough to play needle because needle is just naming the same things I'm using, but Alright, I'm pretty tilted because that should have been a win. I should if I lose a 5 0 because of it. I don't know why I didn't want to just... If I just Trinosphere and go to the next turn, I have to be extremely likely to win, right? And I can always vat away my Trinosphere. I don't know why I felt so... I just got greedy. <laughs> my Trinosphere hand. Okay, I mean, we've just drawn a million Trinospheres in this league, and they've been all been great, so... It is what it is. We do our thing. I won't make the same mistake. I'll play my Trinosphere. Got a Forest. I wish they would restrict that. All right. Well, at least we have them playing lands here. That's such a good draw. It's like such an insane draw. It's got to be one of my best possible draws here. And then we get to go Might Stone, and we draw two. We have one more turn before they do anything crazy. Let's see if they have a second land. They have a second land. Forge. Kind of an awkward card with three ball, but probably still our best card. Uh, that one doesn't really do anything with three ball in play. I'm just going to rope through it. Key. Another key. It's probably right to just play all of this. Hope they don't have a third land. 
Three ball is definitely hampering me. This is like, I think this is what I was afraid of last turn where I tried, like, I didn't want my three ball to hamper me. They did hit a land. Holy moly. So three lands out of the 13 land PO deck. Or I guess it's a 15 land PO deck with Saga. And what do they play? Time walk. Wow. I think we're probably favorites to lose this game now. This just gets Soul Ring. I would have. They're just going to Vault Key us? Okay. So we have one turn to win. And I didn't suspend a Saga. This is crazy. This is mana neutral. I have two needles in my deck. I could play a top and spin. I just really need to find a vat or my own vault. I don't know if I want to lose two mana, two, three mana, two mana, seven mana, eight mana, seven mana, 10 mana, 12 mana, 14 mana. I probably am allowed to just play a ruby. I don't want to use my forge unless it's a land. Okay. Needle. Okay. We're going to name their manifold key. I can still win through. Oh, I forgot to use my key first. Whatever. I messed up. I think I'm just going to hold. I, I lost about probably another card or two over there. Which is a pretty big mistake, but... Pretty big mistake. All right, my opponent is off it. Thank God. <laughs> I guess they their saga went away. They didn't find a land. I think I like their play. Uh, we were able to find our needles or win there. I, I played it terribly. I played terribly. I don't deserve to win this set. I think the Trinisphere play was so bad, and the Manifold key was so bad. Um, I am so lucky to win this game. I, I, I'm so lucky. I'll take it, but I'm so lucky. All right, I really want to 5-0 this league. I got to tighten up my play. Last round was not clean, but I'm, I'm, I'm gunning for it. I want that 5-0. Uh, this hand is unfortunately action light. Um, I Again, I think... I think I would love to have serum powdered this. I mean, not love. You don't want to lose a workshop, but I would have serum powdered this hand if I had an inspector. So I'm starting to maybe think that these should be serum powders. We'll have to see. Mulligan this hand, obviously. Oh, man. Uh, this one's probably worth keeping. I've got a top and a key. And the inspector, the inspector actually looks good in this hand. We'll put the needle away if they're on shot. Uh, Bazaar will be sad, but. I'm always sad. No, wait, I'm not always sad. What am I talking about? Uh, okay. I definitely think the inspector actually looks good here where we have key top combo. Obviously, we don't want our... I, I, I got blown out here. I, could, I got their misstep away, though. Like, you can play this key for zero mana, uh, but I was going to just use our key for zero mana after... Uh, I probably saved a key from a mental misstep, but maybe got my inspector forced. So I guess I still have access to uh, activating this key with my opal. And I saved my top. My top not getting misstep is probably the most important thing, to be perfectly honest. So um, I think top getting misstep here would definitely lose us the game. Let's see what we have to work with afterwards. How about a time vault? Defense Grid Saga. All right, well, we'll draw Defense Grid Saga, but I am skeptical that will be fast enough against whatever Blue Dragon 1981 here is doing. Hopefully they are on something fair and not something unfair. Maybe I just got... Oh, nope, we're dead. <laughs> 
It's their own top, their own key. Everybody keying today. Is this like our fourth key matchup? The Fast Bond deck had a key. The PO deck had a key. Everybody got a key. Everybody's Volcane. It seems like it's a good time to bring back Collector of Force of Vigor. Maybe everybody is on Pyros and Flusters and Key is the way to go. This could be Hole Breacher. <laughs> God, I get a Hole Breacher. Uh, the good news is I can't get Hole Breacher because I have a defense grid coming. Let's see what happens. If they do, if they do go for Hole Breacher, we'll do the double activate in response. Ah, they're going to go for Hole Breacher. Write them like a book. Oh boy. It's bad for me though, because this was my whole secondary game plan here. Gonna spin and activate and activate and activate. So I'm gonna get my draw. I'm gonna draw my top. Cause I do want my top back, but then I wanna see what my next card is. Uh wow, we are so screwed. Uh, I guess we're going to take a man, uh, uh, so we're going to take an inspector next. Well, if my opponent doesn't find like Tinker or Time Vault or anything, <laughs> maybe we can play an Urza Saga game here. Okay. Things got hard real quick. Actually, I don't think we can take this Inspector because we can't really play it because we're going to have to activate Saga. So I'll have to spin again. Just take the uh, the Workshop. Oh my god. I f 6 <laughs> uh... Oh, they just named Urza Saga. I guess that's fine. Well, now I don't have to spin again. <laughs> um, I think I'm okay with that. Only because I have a... Oh, they have a vamp. Okay, we're dead. <laughs> we're just dead. <laughs> we're just dead to Volky. Um, we have one needle, but it's on the bottom of our deck, right? Because we mulliganed it. Yeah, I mean, having Force of Will and having Tutors does make it easier to do this. I, am, I have done this to myself. If this was their plan, though, they should have just named Top. Naming Saga makes no sense here if your plan is to just Vault Key. Nothing. Nothing of value. Uh, yeah. Just play this out. I feel sad. Hole Breacher's kind of an annoying card for us. I haven't had to play against a lot of Hole Breachers. Man, they took all of their Mana Crypt Flips damage, but it's not going to matter at all. Oh, they went for Vault? Or did they go for Tinker? Tinker, and then they have a land. Confused. They went for Citadel with 10 life? I almost conceded this game. Lightning Bolt on my 3-drop. No. Okay. I mean, that's a card you can hit, I guess. What is this? I feel so unlucky now. My opponent actually went for Citadel with 10 life, and I had an active unblockable 3-2, but my opponent hit Lightning Bolt off the top card. Oh, <laughs> uh, crap. Okay. Um... Damn, I mean, now the Saga uh, Needle actually pays off a lot. We have a Dak Faden and the Brick. Okay. This Needle on Saga is actually going to pay off a lot if their plan was to go Citadel. They probably have Force Pitching or Paying... Uh, I am drawing into another defense grid, which I could spin and get rid of, but... I 
I might spin and get the workshop. I I mean I I gave up last turn and I and I didn't make a good choice. But I think the workshop is better than the uh the grid because I do need to find action. So if I needle there I can't needle manifold key, can I? Oh, I might just needle Dak fade in. All right, found a smelting vat. Can't draw it because of Hull Breacher and Narsa. I mean, I think I'm going to lose this game still. But the lightning bolt was the real problem. The fact they hit lightning bolt, they hit time bolt off the top. Uh, okay, okay, that's fine. I don't believe my opponent played that optimally, but it does not matter. Uh, Grixis Breach is a hell of a drug. Um, what do I want to do? I think we just want to resubmit. We're already pretty much pre-boarded for this matchup. We have a Soul Guide Lantern, have a Needle as options. I'm just going to resubmit. I, I think that game, it's interesting that my opponent wanted to go Vamp for Citadel at 10 life. I guess they could have gone Vamp for Time Walk, but or Vamp for Time Vault, but then they would have had to beat a Mana Crypt, uh, which would be tough. Apparently, I should have named uh, Manifold Key on my, my... I don't think I'm supposed to name Manifold Key on my Needle. I think if they just find it, they uh, they do it. I wish I had, you know, I mean, it didn't really matter. I don't know. I need like way more turns than that. I mean, I feel like they got pretty good hits off of their, uh, their thing. Is this good? I mean, this is all in on Saga, but it's not a bad hand. I kind of like this hand, to be honest. Uh, maybe I'm just going to get tinkered and die by keeping this hand, but so be it. I think last game we had an inspector. We, both games we had inspector force. Inspector's pitching steel wind. Okay. I have enough mana where I can play second saga here. They have their own Saga and a Sapphire. Brutal. Saga gets a lot worse when you don't have Sapphire. Uh, definitely don't feel favored here. Definitely feel like I'm the underdog. I just wish Saga tokens were good. Uh, that's an interesting thing. Do we think they have more forces? They could have Hull Breacher here. Breacher doesn't really matter. I could go Mana Vault, Soul Guide Lantern, Academy. Mana Vault, Soul Guide Lantern, Academy. Three cards, three mana, four mana, six mana, seven mana, Smelting Lantern. Hmm. I don't want to do that yet. I don't need this mana vault. I'm just going to get a soul guide in play so I can't, nothing bad can happen like that. And I will just go to their thing. And this is a 3-3 three, three construct, so. so the whole I kind of wish they had a whole breacher here because it means they didn't have, you know, an action, some kind of action spell. Maybe that's not true. Maybe that just lets them open up twister lines. 
I let's see. They have hard cast force open. That is definitely a downside to this line, but I guess they also have whatever. I guess they, they could have uh I, I can't um, what is this bolt? Okay. I mean that's fine. I don't think I care. Alright, so two cards in hand. I'm gonna just go for good stuff here instead of any kind of maybe I'll still do one saga token because it's gonna make me one of the three mana back anyways. <gasps> Ooh. Nah, screw that. I don't want a saga token. I got another saga if I need it. Oh, they're going to make... Uh, they're going to play around Needle. I don't care. I'm going to get a uh, Manifold Key. I'm going to play a Defense Grid. I'm going to play a Mana Vault. Play an Academy. I'm going to play a Smelting Vat. I think I have to... They can have force. If I that's fine. I'm gonna smelt this defense grid and look for a time vault. Didn't find one. Did find a grim monolith though. Did find a top actually. It's probably a little bit better. Let's go top sapphire. Look at our top cards. Another inspector in a grid. So I could draw into inspector, play inspector. That's nah, not good. I could draw into grid, but then I would use my manifold key anyways. So I don't like that very much. I think we'll just make a construct and then go to our next turn. Drawing inspector. Or drawing grid. Hmm. I can't die to breach or anything with soul guide in play. They can get a needle on time vault or our smelting vat. Maybe I just draw and play grid right now. That might be better. Or maybe there was something I could have done with Manifold Key Draws. Uh, doesn't matter what I untap. Okay. Um, I can just make a Saga token now because I have a Defense Grid and they have an active Saga. All right. Well, I'm going to F6 with the ability to F3 in case I need to use the Soul Guide Lantern. I don't know if I played that turn very optimally. I definitely, even though I have a Construct token, I think I am currently not favored to win this game just because my opponents got tutors and stuff in their deck. Uh, we'll see if they choose to like, make another Construct token. Uh, see if they Needle. I think if they should Needle Time Vault if I were them, but they could Needle Smelting Vat. That's not unreasonable either. Um, but I probably would just Needle Time Vault. That's my best way of winning this game. I feel they went Lotus. They're just going to hard cast Citadel. Demonic Tinker, I assume. Demonic Tinker Citadel. We have an unblockable construct, though. So they kind of do have to get rid of this construct token. I guess they could have a Dak Baden. There's a lot of ways this bricks, though. Like, just a force on top is a brick. Brainstorm's pretty good. 
Let's you make sure the next two things are hits. 19 life, though. Again, they have to be pretty cautious. I think I played... So weird. It'd be pretty sad if I can't get the 5-0, but you can't always expect a 5-0 either. Oh, they hit the abrade for my construct. Okay, I mean, that's got to be one of the top possible hits there, seeing as they only probably had one DAC, one abrade as possible hits. Now they aren't threatened by a construct token, and they can go really low off the citadel. Opposition <laughs> agent? Yeah, uh-huh. That's pretty good against my saga. Oh my god, they found Time Vault, and they're going to hit Manifold Key off my saga. My saga is going to kill me again? Twisty. That's interesting. They can just hold up in forest if they want. Man, I feel like these citadels have been really good to my opponent. And I think the citadel is like pretty awful in these like Grixis clunky decks, but I think their citadels have just had no misses. Like you. <sighs> You can really hit, like, Force of Will, land, and just really brick on these Citadels, and they just have never bricked. They never bricked once in this game, and now they're just going to Volt Key me here. Wow. I mean, I... I don't know. I think that's just variance. I think my opponent got me got me pretty good there. All right, our 5-0 Dreams were crushed, but um, we continue. I think this video has been awesome. It's We really got to see the power uh, of the deck. Obviously, Trinisphere has done a lot of heavy lifting, but um, you definitely got to see a couple of great smelting vats in action. Uh, this is Ancestral on my upkeep. I do think some of the changes have been going really well. Some of them not so much. Don't think I'm allowed to play Inspector here uh, under the possibility that it gets forced and I can't play any spells. So I'm going to just lead with Monolith and then play Inspector off of Monolith. Because this still lets me play everything afterwards, but all right. I mean, things look good from here. We're just going to play out our entire hand. And then play a three ball, probably. How much do I have mana? I have five mana to work with if this resolves. Of course, it didn't resolve. That would be silly. I mean, they did, they did Ancestral. It's pretty unlikely that resolves. But we tried. Like, I don't think I can, like, I, I think I like the way I played it, because if our Inspector did get forced, it would be just an absolute nightmare. Um, so I think you do have to play the Monolith out first, which lets you, you know, play through. But I, I don't have any other follow-up, so it's going to be rough. Kind of need to draw, like, a top or a Smelting Vat. If I draw a Smelting Vat, I'm probably in a decent spot, though. For every turn we wait, we can actually untap a Monolith, which would be nice. Uh, opponent is on a Demonic Tutor Volt Key deck. I hate the Smelting Vat. Uh, I'm going... I'm actually not going to have to... Because I actually cost one less, so I actually have enough mana to activate right away if I want to, which is nice. So I don't have to... Okay, so cool, 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 cool. Let's do... Let's smelt away one of these Monoliths. We hit Defense Grid, Jet, Soul Guide Lantern. I'm going to take a Defense Grid and Jet. Which is going to let me do another untap of a, a mana source. And uh, will protect me from next turn. If opponent kills us before then, opponent kills us before then. There's just how much we can do about that life. They 
I can't uh, do anything here, so. Oh, sure. You got it, homie. <laughs> So, I think the jury's still out on if this should be serum powder or not, but the other changes have been very nice. I do like having a soul guide and a needle in my main that I can hit off of a smelting vat to like have some interaction. It's possible I wanted to just hold the smelting vat and play on their turn. Um, but yeah. I was interested in maybe hitting like Vault, Time Vault plus Moxin. Oh, I need to not F6, Justin. I need to make sure I untap my, uh, my Mana Vault here. All right, so my opponent does have the ability to play through this defense grid because they chose not to do any activations this turn or anything like that. Uh, I am going to start with an attack. I'm gonna start with an attack. If they make a construct and block, I will just weld it away, or I'll vat, I'll vat it away, I should say. I kind of want to incentivize them to tap out, which they have not done. So I am just gonna start by vatting this monolith. Uh, I have another monolith and aura key. I didn't hit any zeros here. So, how much mana do I have? I can go for defense grid, and it, that turns off their force for this turn. Uh, but I'll have to use my manifold key to untap my vat. But probably still worth. So I'm going to go defense grid. It's going to be a surprise. They can no longer interact on this turn. Uh, and then I'll use my super mana here to go uh, untap my vat. And I'm going to sack this uh, foundry inspector which is going to let me search and maybe hit Vault Key. I hit Time Vault, but I did not hit Key. Damn, it was a good idea. Uh, all right. So I have Vault Key. Opponent has to kill me. I guess they can Time Vault. Uh, they can actually use a Saga now. I think it was a good idea to try to win this game before Saga went off. Um, but now they can get their one of Needle and name Time Vault or Manifold Key. They'll probably just name Time Vault. I think, I think if you're playing against this deck, that's just the safest thing to do is if you get a Needle on Time Vault, it's very hard for me to win. I have to like do something silly and, and, and like over the top to win. Um, is this going to be, oh, they're just going to vamp for Time Vault themselves and kill me. Wow. I feel so sad. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I just, it just it, it's very awkward because my opponent's decks are just way better at vault keying because they have demonic vamp ancestral force. So maybe maybe my this whole idea is silly. uh unfortunate i we were close we almost pulled that one together um pretty sad uh, this is like kind of gone off the rails once we hit against tinker tinker does seem like the fun police in the format uh it makes everything a lot more difficult we just keep the same 75 or 760 i should say they just tinker citadel so good And then Demonic and Vampiric make it so they're even a better uh, Vault Key deck than us. I'm sad. But at least I'm happy because the first three rounds of this event, uh, I got to do the thing. Uh, 
Oh, I feel so bad. My smelting bad video is doing so well, but I do so badly in it. It's okay. Magic, you lose. You gotta, you gotta accept that. Sometimes in magic, you're gonna lose. Sometimes you're gonna go 0-2 in a tournament. Sometimes you're gonna go 1-5 and get last in a tournament. Uh, but I want to win. Let's win. Ooh, well, the classic. Do you have it? I love a good. Do you have it? I'm gonna go. Uh, emerald. Uh, bait mana vault. Or sorry, bait mental mist up. <laughs> and then. Go for the win. They're incentivized to counter this because I haven't shown them Saga. It's possible I should have played Ancient Doom or Academy first to, to say that I don't have a Saga. But I do have like 10 keys in this deck. You're just always supposed to force this. Uh, I think I played this badly, though. I think if I could go back, I would play this Talarian Academy first so that uh, it, it shows them I don't have a Saga, and that would make them less likely to counter it. I don't have anything else, so my opponent had the 50% chance of having Force. They had the Force, and I'm probably losing this game unless something uh, very wild happens. To get my Time Vault back from my yard, I need to hit Karn. And so I would need to do something like uh, draw Might Stone, draw two... And then, you know, smelting vat my might stone into a mystic forge, forge through my deck with a Karn or something. That's what I'm going to need. They just have another Force of Will Ancestral Hand. I mean, I, I don't think you're going to beat a Tinker deck that has Force of Will Ancestral very much with your Mono Brown deck. It just seems like an impossible task. Um, probably not going to beat Ancestral Force of Will with your Force of Will deck either. So I don't know how much it matters. Like, this is just uh, a, a really strong draw. It's definitely one of the best cards we can draw in this situation. So I'll, def I'll take it. Um, I think I'm just going to use the Talarian Academy and not have to untap anything. This resolving is great. We can draw two cards a turn, unless they have a hole breacher, in which case we just get wrecked. Uh, I don't think I am allowed to play around that. I'm going to activate this, and that way, if they respond with a hole breacher, I can activate in response. Okay. That didn't happen, so that's good. Let's try this. Okay. Two. Yeah. Do this again. Now we just need to find a smelting vat for this might stone. Didn't find a smelting vat. Found an Urza Saga. Well, I think we're going to cycle through this might stone here. I love the might stone. Great hard. Well, the Might Stone is actually a different card, for what it's worth. Oh, I guess playing the land means I can't play my Saga. That was probably a mistake. Alright, the good news is I do have a Smelting Vat. Uh, I think what I'll do is just... Play... I don't even think I want to play a Defense Grid. I think I'm just going to untap this. Next turn, I'll probably draw with top uh, to grab the second Might Stone, uh, and then I'll play a Smelting Vat. If I get another turn, like, I I mean, I might just not get another turn, right? Like, my opponent is an Ancestral Forcible deck with seven mana, or six mana, I should say.
What did my opponent do? They played a mana crypt. They officially have as much mana as I do. That's not true. I have way more mana, but... <laughs> but... I don't know why I untapped mana Malith. I should have untapped a mana vault. I haven't been playing the cleanest games. Mm. Oh, I'm dead. Look at that. Demonic Tutor. I just get Demonic Tutor and die every game. <laughs> I think that's just the the end result of all of this is why would you play a cool combo deck when you can just play Demonic Tutor Tinker? Sad Justin. I feel like maybe Citadel has had enough time. <laughs> as a citadel gamer myself i would never show up to a vintage tournament right now and not play tinker citadel it is just by far and away the best thing you can be doing and you still get to play force of will just my advice anyways um this deck's sick i love this deck this deck is so much fun this deck is way more fun than going tinker citadel and automatically winning the game um the lines are cool i didn't get punished uh on one of the mistakes I made, but you get super punished sometimes uh, on small mistakes. And there's lots of ways where you can find little edges and it makes it, it feels really good when you find like that, that nice sequence that gets you there. Um, I guess the jury is out on whether I want to try serum powder again, instead of inspector, the inspectors with tops are like one of a huge draws to this deck, especially when you go infinite with forge, uh, but you only have one forge, and I, as much as I'm trying to make this deck a turbo forge deck as well, you know, Vat Forge, um, it, it's not easy. You have to sack a Might Stone to find a forge, or sack another Vat to find a forge. But these are the things that are possible, and I don't want to like get rid of that option. Um, so I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not 100 sure. I do think I like some of the changes. We didn't get the Dark Steel Citadel in this league, but it came up in another league. Uh, I don't know if the Low Stone Golem should really be in the sideboard, but it's it is there right now for when I feel like it's necessary. The thing is, the Lozum Golem is just, like, not good against those artifact-based Tinker combo decks, but it is good against some of the other decks, um, so I kind of want it, but I don't want it kind of deal. True Spear should be in the main. I guess I just made a really bad mistake in not having it in the main. It just wins games of Magic, uh, and, I, and I have been liking the utility one-drops here that you can actually find um, off of your Smelting Bat. So, I hope that this video was more entertaining for you than the, the, the challenge video where I didn't really get to do the thing. But this time we absolutely did the thing and we did the thing in, in spectacular fashion. So uh, I hope this was a fun and uh, exciting video for you. I love when a new card can make waves in Vintage and this is definitely of the power level to do so. It is um, crazy that I missed this card in spoiler season because there's just a never ending spoiler season. But um, I'm happy we found it. Thanks to CFT Sock for that. And uh, I'm happy this deck got made because this deck is super cool. New vintage videos, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I will see you then.